Ah, Google Earth. The platform we've all grown oddly comfortable with over time, despite the fact that anyone, anywhere, anytime can see our homes from space. It shows us intricate details about places we've never been, from whole continents right down to random forgotten paths in Street View. But what if I told you there are a number of secrets Google Earth keeps up its sleeves that most people will never see? From deleting an entire island to covering up top secret military aircrafts. Hold on to your jaws, because they're about to drop. Lost in Egypt To most of us, Google Earth and Maps are merely tools to help us get where we want to go. But to some, it's a borderline obsession. Just take North Carolina resident Angela Michael, for example, a self-proclaimed satellite researcher with a passion for finding Google Earth anomalies. In 2012, when she shared two mysterious objects she'd happened upon, Egyptian history enthusiasts across the internet instantly grew excited. Angela claimed to have discovered two sets of potential pyramids located 90 miles apart in northern Egypt. One of the locations shows some strange-looking shapes of about 9,000 square feet apiece jutting out of the desert in a vague formation, while the other location shows a 200,000 square feet triangular structure that resembles the base of what Angela believes could have once been a pyramid. Angela reportedly consulted with an Egyptologist who reckoned she might be onto something. With less than 1% of Egypt having so far been excavated by archaeologists, there may well be countless ruins we've yet to find. However, Angela's discovery is still far from verified, and skeptics were quick to point out alternate explanations. For one thing, the alleged pyramids may be no more than common buttes, tall, flat-topped towers of rock. James Harrell, a professor of archaeological geology at the University of Toledo in Ohio, was quick to back this idea. Commonly seen in the Egyptian Fayum Desert, buttes typically form when a mound of sediment contains a difficult-to-erode layer somewhere beneath the surface. When the surrounding sediment gradually erodes due to strong winds and passing sand, that resistant layer gets left on top, leaving the hill flat a description which seems to fit the shapes Angela spotted on Google Earth. That being said, there's certainly something peculiar about their shaping and arrangement. Perhaps future investigations will reveal more. But for now, what do you think? Did Angela discover a pair of long-lost pyramids? Or is there nothing to see here except a couple of big old buttes? Phantom Island in today's day and age, with most of the world already mapped out, explorers can only dream of discovering uncharted locations. But that doesn't mean you can't undiscover certain places. Confused? Let me explain. In 2012, a group of Australian scientists on an expedition to study plate tectonics in the South Pacific decided to make a detour to a certain sandy island, after noticing that their ship's navigation charts made no mention of it, even though it clearly showed up on Google Earth. Only, once they reached the island's coordinates, there was nothing there but an expanse of deep blue ocean. Did the island sink? Did they get their coordinates wrong? Well, as it turns out, Sandy Island never existed. According to Sean Higgins, a librarian at Auckland Museum in New Zealand, the earliest mention of Sandy Island was on a navigation chart that was last updated in 1908. Even though the chart accredited Sandy Island's discovery to a ship named Velocity in 1876, it also advised the reader to take any information given with a grain of salt, seeing as not all sailors were known for providing accurate accounts of their findings. Well, apparently future cartographers didn't heed the chart's warning, and Sandy Island continued to be charted. Still, since Google Earth makes use of satellite imaging, what did the Australian scientists see on the map? Most likely, the so-called island was nothing more than a giant pumice raft, a collection of volcanic stones which are erupted by underwater volcanoes and ultimately form a floating island of rocks. 
Equally, a pumice raft could also be to blame for the island's initial discovery. For all we know, the velocity might have mistaken the collection of stones as a landmass in the distance and eagerly documented it before properly examining the so-called island. Even though Google has since hidden its original depiction of Sandy Island from view, we can still see an island-shaped outline in its location. Which is pretty funny, because for an island that doesn't really exist, people sure are having a hard time getting rid of it. Blood Lake Lining the edge of Iraq's Sadr city is Lago Vermelo, a peculiar-looking lake that has many Google Earth users contemplating its origin, and whether it was connected to some dark and shady happenings. Why? Like its nickname, Blood Lake, suggests, the entire lake appears to be bright red on Google Earth, while the rest of the lakes around it remain green. Stories have spread about local butchers dumping their, well, waste into the lake, although scientists were quick to point out that the lake's much too big for a noticeable effect of this kind, and even if that were the case, it'd turn more brown than red. Others have attributed the lake's color to chemical pollution or sewage, although the most likely explanation is actually a tiny one, algae. Just take northern Iran's Lake Urmia, for example. Like Lago Vermelho, Lake Urmia has been drying up and shrinking for decades. As the water level dropped, the salt levels became more concentrated, making Urmia a prime breeding ground for algae, especially Dunaliella algae, which turn red in very salty conditions due to the production of protective cardinoid pigments in their cells. When these algae populations bloomed in Lake Urmia, the once dark green waters turned bright red. In all likelihood, the same thing happened in Lago Vermelho, and I can't decide if that's more or less hardcore than the butcher's theory. Before we travel the globe to the location of our next juicy secret, why not give this video a big ol' thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe to Be Amazed, so you'll be the first to know when I drop my latest upload. Now, let me just input our next coordinates. Gobi Desert Secret if you're going to hide a covert government facility somewhere, the middle of the desert sounds like the perfect place, right? Well, think again, because with Google Earth at the fingertips of millions of internet sleuths, nothing stays hidden for too long. In 2018, the coordinates of a strange-looking structure in the Gobi Desert between northern China and southern Mongolia caught the internet's attention. The structure, which somewhat resembles the Stonehenge, inspired many a conspiracy theory, including being a hidden UFO runway or China's own super-secret military base akin to the famous Area 51. Jonathan Hill, a research technician and mission planner for the Mars Space Flight Facility at Arizona State University, shed some light on the subject when he identified the structure as a test target for orbital radar instruments. The Stonehenge-like bumps in the terrain work by scattering any radar signals away from the area, thus partially masking the planes in the very center. By testing radar return from structures like this, Chinese radar experts can potentially learn how to hide military operations from other countries. Now, even though that's not exactly up there with hiding alien spaceships, I'd still say that's a pretty awesome thing to discover, even if such a discovery was the last thing China wanted. Alien Space Cathedral If you virtually explore the hilly plains of New Mexico on Google Earth, you might find yourself stumbling across a curious pattern etched into the landscape near the small community of Trementina. This pattern, which consists of two interlocking circles with diamonds in their centers, might look like a prank upon Google Earth UFO hunters, but its true purpose is actually pretty out there. A little way off the interlocking circles is the Trementina Base, a property run by the Church of Scientology. In case you didn't know, the religion is grounded in the beliefs that human souls are immortal and that people continue existing as spiritual beings after death. 
It's believed that the founder of Scientology, L. Ron Hubbard, had his writings preserved in titanium capsules somewhere in the facility, and that the two interlocking circles, a symbol which is actually trademarked by the Church of Scientology, were placed there to lead Scientologists back to a safe space when they've gained the post-death ability to travel the universe. Probably not what you were expecting, right? Well, the intergalactic space entities need road signs too, I guess. Antarctic Disk Usually, when someone talks about spotting a flying saucer, you probably don't expect it to be launched in the side of a mountain in icy Antarctica. Well, in October 2020, one UFO enthusiast was scanning Google Earth when he spotted what he claimed to be a 60-feet-wide alien saucer sitting in melting Antarctic ice. Some commenters considered the disk too perfectly curved to be a naturally formed object, pointing out potential shadows beneath it, which seemed to suggest it's not sitting in the ice, but hovering over it. However, as much as we'd all like to blame aliens, there are some things about the picture that don't make sense. For one thing, the disk cuts off abruptly alongside the ice's natural edge and doesn't appear to be overlapping it. This could easily point to a glitch from Google's side, especially since the shadows surrounding the disk look streaky and distorted. Then again, if a technical glitch isn't the cause, the disk may simply be a small pool of water. Looking around the disk at the landscape, you'll notice other bodies of water nearby with a similar hue, so it's possible one particular pool just melted in a very rounded shape. Or maybe flying saucers are just so last century, and semicircle aircrafts are hot right now instead. The Badlands Guardian In the Canadian Badlands, a stretch of rocky canyons located in southern Canada known for its lack of water and extreme temperatures ranging from 116 to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, there lies something truly spectacular that you'll only see from Google Earth. Etched into the curved terrain is the Badlands Guardian, an indentation of what looks remarkably like an indigenous man's head. What's it doing there, and how was it formed? Is Google Earth hiding evidence of an ancient buried giant? Since its discovery, the Badlands Guardian has fascinated people, especially seeing as its location is traditionally home to the Suksika First Nation people. The geological feature is believed to have been produced several hundred years ago, after fierce flooding eroded the clay-filled soil. It's purely thanks to humankind's built-in pareidolia, the phenomenon through which our brains tend to perceive lifeless objects as having human-like features, that we end up seeing a face. This also makes the Badlands Guardian a difficult tourist attraction to visit, seeing as it doesn't really resemble a face from the ground. On the bright side, you don't have to spend money to visit this natural wonder, just hop onto Google Earth and you're there. Extraterrestrial Tourists In 2015, a mysterious complex of structures were spotted in the desert terrain about 30 miles east of Cairo, the capital of Egypt. The complex consisted of elongated structures with pointed ends, surrounded by mysterious circles. Baffled UFO investigators pored over the discovery in search of clues, and though there was little to work with, the structure's futuristic design coaxed them into dubbing the complex an alien base. Or, if not an alien base, a secret government facility used to hide extraterrestrial evidence. However, wherever there are conspiracy theorists, there are also skeptics. According to more skeptically inclined commenters, the strange-looking complex was more than likely an ordinary sand mine used to build and fix the adjacent highway. This makes sense, considering sand is typically used when mixing asphalt for road building. The strange-looking circles might simply be guide zones for sand mounds, while the ramps could be for vehicles like mobile cranes to drive along as they move the sand. That said, with the entire thing having since vanished from Google Earth, there might be more to the mysterious complex than Google is leading on. Or, you know, the highway could have just been completed. Luckily for us, there are some secrets the navigational platform can't erase as easily. 
One Egyptian object that's still visible on Google Earth today is a mysterious interlocking spiral near the Red Sea. The spiral, which certainly looks alien, was speculated to be either a landing strip for extraterrestrial spacecraft or a portal to a parallel universe, which might not be that far-fetched considering the Scientology symbol we looked at in Trementina. However, some digging quickly unveils the truth about this desert oddity. The spiral is actually an environmental art installation called Desert Breath by artists Danae Stratow and Stella Constantinides. Even though the 1,100 feet wide artwork was only discovered on Google Earth in 2015, it was actually constructed all the way back in 1997. The intention of the artwork is to depict the desert as a landscape of the mind, comparing its endless dunes to the endless capabilities of thought or, arguably, with the minds of some people, a barren wasteland. Sunken Truth When it comes to secrets, the ocean is pretty good at keeping its own untold truths hidden. That was, until Google Earth found its way below the waves when explorable underwater snapshots were uploaded to certain sites. In June 2021, a patch of ocean close to Florida Keys went viral when a Google Earth user discovered a strange field of stony rectangles laid out on the ocean floor, next to even weirder antenna-like formations with bizarre growths. Had the sunken city of Atlantis finally been found? Well, no. These strange formations are actually part of a coral nursery created to save Florida's coral reefs that have been damaged by pollution. Fragments of damaged coral are placed on metal coral trees until they grow healthy enough to be returned to their natural habitat. As of 2021, the Coral Restoration Foundation has already returned 130,000 endangered coral plants to Florida's reefs, which, considering the coral farm looks like some kind of robot graveyard, isn't too shabby. Graveyard Tenants Notice anything strange in this image taken in the Martha Chapel Cemetery in Huntsville, Texas and uploaded to Google Earth? Well, according to online commenters, it shows a young, ghost-like girl peeking out from behind a tree, and what some have labeled the Grim Reaper lurking in the background. According to internet sleuths who happened upon this image in Street View, the girl had to be a ghost because of her less than rosy complexion and the fact that she was hanging around in a graveyard. Shortly after the photo went viral in 2018, however, the photographer, John Wells, came forward to admit the girl was actually his daughter and that she had been hiding while he shot a 360-degree photo for Street View. But just because we know the girl isn't a ghost, what about the figure lurking by the more distant graves? According to the website Texas Escapes, the road leading to the cemetery in Huntsville has long been dubbed Demon's Road. Many travelers have reported either seeing shadow people in the area or having an eerie feeling sweep over them. But considering the low quality of the image, it might be a bit of a jump to assume that Black Blob is an evil spirit and not just some unfortunate widow going all out in the traditional black garb of mourning. Let me know what you think in the comments. Giant's Toy what would you think if you were minding your own business, combing the Italian countryside on Google Earth, only to find a giant stuffed bunny splayed out on the grass, looking, in a word, disgruntled? Well, bizarrely, that disgruntled bunny actually exists, and it's every bit as strange as you'd think. Called Haza, the bunny is actually a giant art installation on Coletto Fava Mountain in northern Italy. The 200 feet long and 20 feet high bunny was placed on the hill in 2005 by art collective Geliten from Vienna. After it was installed, the giant bunny, made of fabric and stuffed with straw, attracted many tourists to the area. Only in recent years, it disappeared off Google Earth, leaving many wondering whether somebody had destroyed it or stolen it. But it turned out that while the sculpture was supposed to last up to 20 years, the once bright pink bunny unfortunately started to rot and fade into the soil much faster than expected. 
As of 2016, it had almost completely decomposed. And now, like most crime scenes in cartoons, only its outline remains. Shipwrecked While browsing a bustling Hong Kong on Google Earth, you'll see one rather out-of-place object hiding amidst the skyscrapers. Yup, that's an actual cruise ship. But what's it doing there? Well, believe it or not, the hidden cruise ship is actually a giant shopping mall called the Wampu. Housing over 300 shops and restaurants, this unusual mall not only provides high-end retail, but also delivers a very unique seafaring experience. That unique experience being, you'll probably end up spending the money you could otherwise spend on a real cruise, but without getting seasick. Supersonic Spy Plane What if I told you there was a military jet with the ability to travel at lightning-fast speeds of up to 4,600 miles per hour and could strike any target around the globe in under 60 minutes? Well, unfortunately, I can't tell you that. Not officially, anyway. But what I can tell you is that in December 2017, the American aerospace and defense firm, spokespeople for Lockheed Martin, actually hinted at being in the middle of developing that exact jet. It's called the SR-72, and it's supposed to be the upgrade to the SR-71 Blackbird, the United States' top stealth jet before it was retired in 1998. I can also tell you that in January 2018, shortly after Lockheed Martin hinted at their project, a Google Earth image emerged in which eagle-eyed aviation enthusiasts noticed a peculiar-looking plane parked near a runway in Palm Beach County, Florida. It didn't take long for internet sleuths to liken the plane to the SR-72, not only due to its super sleek design, but also its incredible resemblance to some mock-up images shared by Lockheed Martin several years ago. Could it be true? Could the United States' brand new spy jet just be sitting there for everyone to see? Some skeptics are doubtful, with many identifying the so-called plane as a speedboat instead, or more specifically, a hydroplane boat. And while there's certainly a resemblance to those rapid waterfaring vessels, doesn't a spy plane just sound so much cooler? Invisible Plane They say when you want to hide something, it's best to hide it in plain sight. Well, Google Earth must definitely be hiding something, or trying to, at least, because in February 2021, one sharp-witted internet user exposed a potential super-secret cover-up. The Dias Air Force Base in Texas might look like any old airstrip at first, but once you zoom in on the solitary plane to the side of the airstrip, you'll notice that things aren't all they seem. By which, I mean there's a seemingly invisible plane just sitting there, trying to blend in. Is it true? Is there an actual invisible plane hiding on Google Earth? Or is there something else going on? While an invisible plane is certainly a fun idea, it's more likely that the strange 3D object is either a secret prototype that the military requested Google to censor, or a glitch with Google Earth's 3D imaging. The latter option seems slightly more likely, considering the back of the plane next to it also takes on a semi-invisible appearance when viewed from certain angles. It's possible a similar plane was parked where the invisible one now stands, which was used as the basis for Google's 3D model, only for it to have flown off by the time Google applied the photographic skin, leaving the system to overlay the floor onto the shape of the plane. On the other hand, though, that could always just be Google Earth trying to throw us off the scent. Wayward Missile In March 2007, Google Earth blew up, almost literally, when someone pointed out a small soaring object in a satellite image taken over south-central Utah. What made this object so remarkable was that it looked a lot like the one thing you'd never want to fly over your head. A cruise missile. Cruise missiles are guided weapons designed to deliver large amounts of destruction over long distances and are capable of traveling at supersonic speeds. Which begs the question, what the heck was one doing flying over Utah? Did Google Earth accidentally capture something it shouldn't have? 
Well, upon first glance, the object in the image really does look like a missile. However, if you zoom in on the object, you're just about able to make out the glitchy remnants of two dark-colored wings on either side of it. Plus, after some internet investigators whipped out the Google Earth ruler, they measured the alleged missile at 90 feet long, which again points more toward a plane than a supersonic weapon. Since the plane, if that's what it was, would have been in rapid motion when the satellite photos were taken, the speed could have been responsible for visually distorting the image of the wings. Either that, or Utah's made itself some powerful enemies. Pegman Variations Ah, the Pegman, that featureless orange figure on Google Maps that serves as our gatekeeper to Street View. If you've ever used Google Maps on your computer, you probably know that you have to pick the little fellow up and drag him across the screen toward whatever you'd like to see the street view of. But did you know the Pegman's not always the same featureless character? Over the years, Google Earth has played dress-up with the Pegman around certain noteworthy locations and popular tourist attractions. Hover the Pegman over the coast of Hawaii, for example, and you'll see it transform into a green-tailed mermaid. Pay a visit to the infamously secretive airbase Area 51 in Nevada and you'll see the Pegman hitch a ride in a UFO. And that's not all. When you head over to the famous Loch Ness in Scotland, you'll see the Pegman revealing its true colors as the Loch Ness Monster. And over in England, you can carry Queen Elizabeth by her arms as you hover the royal Pegman over Buckingham Palace. Every now and again, Google Earth comes up with new and exciting Pegman variations to match current notable events or celebrations, so the best way to keep up with their hidden Pegman Easter eggs is to get out there and explore. Have you ever come across any juicy secrets Google Earth might be hiding from us? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, be amazed.